Hey guys, it's Lucid. Welcome back to another episode here with uh, Middle-Aged Atlantis. And uh, we have finally launched uh, our assault on the fortress of uh, Pond of Rond, if that's the right place. You can see we cast a just a couple spells, <laughs> two pages worth. Um, but yeah, so uh, we see a battle here where Vanarus is casting some blood spell at TNG. Uh, Vanarus clearly seems to be losing the war with Tianchi, by the way. Which is kind of what I expected. Uh, Shinyama attacks me here in the the, pond, uh, the Sea of Rond. Let's sort out the sound. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Um, so, uh, somebody has cast Time Stop. I think it's probably this idiot, if I had to guess. Um, we're going to turn on Team Colored Squares because we're going to have a lot of control and, or er, what we've got is we've got another Uba Communion. Uh, which who knew Ubas were actually decent communion slaves, but I guess if you've watched this video, you have certainly picked that up over the time. There we go, life after death going off. Uh, and there we have uh, Undead Mastery. Now he doesn't actually get many people, because I got turn one anti-magic off. And in late game fights, turn one anti-magic is critically important. So anyway, that's successful. Um, now, it appears to have targeted, and I don't know if that works. I thought it only targeted undead, but it appears to have targeted um, my uh, my siege golems, which I found kind of surprising. Now, they do not have terribly great MR. It's only 15 after anti-magic. <laughs> the time stop sounds are so funny. Everything sounds like it's underwater when you have time stop up. Okay, we had even more. Now, part of the problem with him, he's doing even more stealing, and then he pieces the fuck out uh, with Vortex of Returning. So, uh, kind of interesting. He... He got four golems. Now, these are expensive. Uh, he also got a fairy queen, but fairy queens, eh, not really worth it. Uh, I mean, it sucks for me, but they're not really worth gift of reasoning. The siege golems are, of course, good because you don't need a gift of reason them. Um, and we didn't really permanently kill anything. He only, If we look at the gems he spent, I kind of want to see the efficiency of this. Maybe we try to mimic it in some way. Of course, if I actually deployed my uh, my own master and slave script, he'd be fucked. Who cast? Who cast time stop? Amaratsu. How are the golems all named Foen? Oh, this is his pretender god. Astral Five. Um, maybe I missed it. We'll have to we'll have to look at it afterwards. How are the spheres? Oh, arcane domination is what they're casting. Okay. And he got off an Arcane Domination just before, so it's quite a few. I mean... Okay, wait, we'll look at it one more time. Total gems spent to do this whole maneuver were... Uh, 10... 2... So 12... And then this was... 15... Um, 
20, another four. So we're at about 30. And now she has a lot. She has... Wait one second. Who's casting magic tool? I wonder if that's what... Is that what these idiots were casting? It appears so. Maybe trying to snipe my anti-magic caster. I don't know if that's enough shamans, but it could have worked. Um, yeah, so 10. I don't think that really changed much. Yeah. So 10, this is probably 20. So we're 30, 50. I mean, it looks like about 50 gems. So he spent 50 gems to basically get... I mean, it was a good trade, I think, for him. Like, he spent 50 gems to get... I mean, but like, four siege golems, that costs 80. So... And he denied 80 gems from me. Problem with him having siege golems is he can use those to quickly take back my throne, potentially. I mean, as if siege golems would work versus water elementals, but... And they're not actually horrible, because Shatterfist will murder... Uh, water elementals, but water elementals will also murder these guys. Um, we killed... So the ghost cat, I mean, these guys died and turned into ghost cats. I don't think we actually got much. I think most of the stuff we got was from... So we had some soulless giants die. So we, we got their... Basically all my guys who died, I think this is their gear. None of this I really, except the only guy on their side who really died that was this guy, the uh, shooting doji. And uh, he had, I don't know, Sea King's Goblet or something. And then we had a second battle here uh, inside the fort, which was actually kind of trivial. Uh, inside... So we've got Fields of the Dead, Friendly Currents. Fields of the Dead is his. You can see I've got Water Elementals going off. Now you can't do Phoenix Pyre underwater. That's another one of the, the things kind of blocked underwater. It is Fog Warriors. And we've got uh, sea Trolls versus Water Elementals, the ultimate slap fight. Uh, we'll pick the speed up here. School of Shark, I mean, um, I'm sorry, I think we have Shark Attack. It's not really doing much. It's not really... Shark Attack is dependent on how many troops you have. And you need, like, living troops to get damaged, and the idea is the blood gets in the water and attracts the sharks. And we really have a lot of that going on. This guy's reasonably tough with, uh, 40 protection here. Uh, the water elementals do armor-piercing damage, so eventually they will shoot through it. So anyway, we got the throne. Now, uh, it remains to be seen, and that, I think that's the bulk of the turn for me. I mean, there's some other stuff to watch, but... Heliophagus moving in. Um, got 270 pearls. It looks like other people are spending more, because that's more pearls than normal. Um, and that's basically that. So, there's a few things... We basically are going to make moves on Pythium's throne now. And the more I think about it, and I look at all these communicants, the more I get scared shitless. I think what I do... And this is going to be tricky. This not, let's go through the problems. So, one thing is, he can out-enslave me. Right, so getting into, like, an enslave war with somebody with this many... I don't have any idea how many... 
there's not 170 communicants, but I think he's got army inflating items everywhere. But there's probably a lot. There's probably 30 or 40 or 50. And there could, I mean, we're at turn 120, right? So if this has just made communicants all, you know, for the whole game and he hasn't moved them, there could be that many. But like, why would you make communicants? They can't do anything. They just sit there. So you want to use them if you make them. So it's a little odd. I like that, but I don't know. I mean, you know, like, why would he put an army adding item here where there's probably 80 communicants? I don't know. But we have to take this. So the, there's several problems. One is whatever trick I use to take one of these might deplete me to take the other. Um, so I think what I'm going to do... Okay, th let's go through the second problem. The second problem taking it is, let's say with my... Um, with my first couple, I would be able to win against his communicants. The problem that I have is I can't do uh, multiple battles. So if he gym baits me, like the gym bait is very, very hard on this because I like the whole point of this is having a huge turn one, but a being but a boom. One thing I could do is I could move a normal army in. And the army could be sufficient. Well, let's think. He's going to have to teleport inside. So the way he's going to do it is different than me. But it's not going to matter that much. I mean, highly unlikely he has a first couple in each of these thrones. But he might. Well, we can see what he's got here. Maybe. I think what he'll do is teleport a first couple with 50 communicants into one of these thrones. And he can do just spam the shit out of master and slave. The problem is I then to take it, I need to have a battle outside the throne, which will completely empty my gem bank. And then we have a battle inside the throne. The only way to prevent a battle outside the throne is to have control of all the provinces around it, which potentially I can do. I can, I think that's actually the play. Even then other people, well, might be able to do a magic phase attack on the outside, which would gym bait me. And like here, Tian Chi would definitely do a magic face attack to Jim Baby. Possibly multiple. Like I could get hit by horrors, I could get hit by. Uh Ghost Riders. And I can't make enough of the temporary gem items. Like this one gives me what? Oh, that's for water gems. What's the one for astral? I forget. It's my mod too. What's the one for astral? A staff of the one god. This gives me three. It's a two-handed item though, so it's not gonna be very good for my no-handed royal maliquis. Um, I think it's that in Perlos. I think that's basically it for Astral. This is Air Gems. And yeah, nothing here, I think, for Astral. So... Um... So that's the main problem, is that using these guys to attack is not as effective because they get gym baited and all these other sorts of things. 
what I can do is I can use them to defend. Um, and they can have enough, they have enough gems to do anti-magic plus master and slave once, twice. So they can have a battle outside and then a battle inside. And the anti mat turn one anti magic actually is very important as far as this whole equation goes. Um, that said, that said, well, actually, you know, if I only do it once, I really only need four golems because the issue with having too few golems per Maliqui is they end up getting fatigued out after one casting. But if I have four golems, um, they'll get fatigued out after one master and slave casting, but that will be fine. They'll have done their job. So I think that actually makes sense. Then the thing might be is I need two royal Maliquis per four golems. And that will get me, um, basically two master and slave castings off. And if I have, I already have eight golems. So if I just get three more royal maliquis or first couples, I can send one of them on each of these. I can lock down all adjacent provinces with golems or tarts. And then the next turn we end it. Um. I think that's the best way to do it. So, and I don't think it'll take us that long. Um. I think we're going to go ahead and get... I think we're going to go get two more royal couples here. So, our first couple. Let's make sure we get it right. Get exactly how they're named. We've got a... They still don't know I have these. So, I've got a cauldron of elven halls here. Now, in theory, why was I getting golems? I actually could just use... My Astro Guys. My Astro Guys could be Magic Duel, though, and that could fuck it up. Yeah, it's probably okay using Golems. Golems are pretty robust for this. Okay, so it's the first couple. The Golem. So the is not part of the name. It's just first couple. That's what I thought. But this is going to be expensive. It's going to take me a couple turns to make three more of these kits. And because these are on land, I can actually replace this with uh, with something else. So, where are we teleporting you to? 300? No, no, I want to get you out of the water. So, where can I go, which will be out of the water, but in range of some of this shit? So, like, from here... Um, Augury, can we... How far can we get? Seven, so this is out of range but in range. Okay. Um, let's see, can we get here? Here. Here we could get to. I don't want him to see the Royal Maliqui. There's a chance it will see there because I, I'd need more Cauldrons of Elven. Something or another. Well, I think we teleport here, and this will be one of the ones... I think we're going to save a few pearls, because how far can they go? Oh, I guess these ones with armor are a little slower. Oh, just one of them's crippled is what it is.
Okay, we might teleport the crippled one around. So I think what, well... Okay, let's have you guys go here. Let's have... Okay, all the non-crippled ones... are going to walk. You're just going to teleport. Then here... Good luck keeping... I've got so many tarts here. All these temples are going to keep getting destroyed. Um... I probably should start kidding these out, too. Uh, the other thing I just want to pull up and show you is score graphs, because I check this every almost every turn now. Provinces isn't changing much. Forts, though, you can see we went a little crazy. Um, this is going to make it very difficult for people to raid me. And it also protects my temples, which is the most important thing I'm looking at now, is Dominion. So you can see last turn actually we flattened out, but we've been on a kind of good kick for a little while. But occasionally we have like a downturn like here, or it flattens out. But I expect it's going to continue up, but we are, you know, some of this Dominion now is more hard won. Like here and here and here. He's going to have forts and be trying to preach the fuck out of this, so it's going to be tricky. Um, and we see Vanarus making some kind of comeback. This fort is not cracked yet, but it's presumably going to be. Um, now I could end my nap with... I mean, honestly, well... I could end my nap with TC, but he's, I don't know how close he's getting to a throne rush. Let's see. For him to win, he's got to get... Let's count his thrones. I think he has to get Pythium's thrones. Yeah, he only has three. This one is the only unclaimed one. And this is mine now. So... Yeah, he's got to get... This one will be four. He's got to get three more, which will be this one, this one, and probably this one. Maybe th oh, this one, this Shinoyama, so he might not even need to get my underwater one. If he starts getting close, we'll... Or if he starts completing, completely conquering Venerus, we'll do it. But I think in the meantime, it's better we just focus on our throne rush. Or not rush, it's turn 120. But our throne victory. Um, oh, wait one second. Okay, sorry. I had something like simmering on the stove and I smelt burning. So yeah, my, my soup kind of got burned. <laughs> Which you're like, how can you burn soup? It's possible. Um, the trick is once you've burnt it to not stir it, and then you can still eat the stuff on the top. <laughs> it's sad facts of bachelor living. Um, all right, we were doing gift of reason here. Uh, let's get some of these tarts online. Take you and is that it? I guess that's it. We're gonna have to, maybe we had another fairy queen. We're always needing more fairy queens, so. Um, you guys are gonna get back in the tart business. 
you guys are going to get in the Legion of White business. Um, so the goal is to have two armies which are going to one turn pop this. Here we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to need seven super combatants to pop all the or to lock down all the surrounding provinces. And we're going to need here not as many, only three. So we need ten super combatants. Um, so we'll have to get on producing those, which probably we have. How many of these can magic phase? But they're not all going to be awake. I don't really want to... We need like an abundance of tarts for that job. A lot of the tarts I want to have coming with the main army too. Um, can you... I wonder if people can like make it here with... Like, is this a thing? That is a thing. Okay. We might need some more boots of quickness to pull this army in. Um, with halls of cauldrons of elven broth or whatever, the elven halls, we can potentially sneak in a rather large portion of this army. I mean, potentially all of it. So he just doesn't know what's there. Hmm. It's not a horrible use for air gems at the moment. Move you over here. Uh, here's our little tart station. I mean, from here, I can do... If I move two tarts who can't magic phase attack, I can potentially lock down these two provinces from here. From here, tarts can move and probably pretty easily lock down uh, two provinces here. Here, here. Okay, we can actually lock down a lot. Um... How far can tarts move? Boots of quickness. Oh, this is also problems I have to deal with. My inventory's fucking full. Uh, we are gonna get, I think, a lot of these. Well. The other thing I, so there's a few things I have to do. I need to set up a permanent defense of this. Um, most of these guys are going to roll out, but some of them or not. Um, we're claiming the throne. I think we're building a temple here, too. Yeah, this guy's building a temple. Um... I'm going to keep a fair number of these guys behind, but I'm not sure how many. But for now, I think we're going to hang tight. I think the Lich... Well, maybe the Lich is actually needed. We'll keep the Lich with a few people here. This seems fine. Um, but the things I... So let's look at the things I have up that we're going to keep. We're going to keep... I must do... Oh, shit. You know the thing I lost? Oh, shit. I hate having full inventories. I wish the inventory was bigger. Just pull some of these items off here. Well, or, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start kitting out tarts. So, you good sir, you get to have earth boots, and this, and 
and we'll give you an amulet of anti-magic and a cool shield and you get a weapon you get a hat and you get uh You know, it's been sitting here literally all game. Don't have the perfect chassis for it yet. We could potentially get a fetish, which is, I think, the coolest thing to put it on. But I'm, I'm a little worried I'll be teased for drawing out a win. And I really want to go for it now. I don't want to make it last any longer than I have to. Um, but I feel like I've needed some time to eco up to be able to handle the wrath of everybody when they turn against me at the very end. Um, okay, more tarts. I thought this was my tart spot. And we'll give you a sort of quickness, I guess. And you get... Amulet of Anti-Magic. Uh, you need some armor. God, this inventory management is a nightmare. I know we're going to need it all, too, so... You're not really a caster. You kind of just need, like... You aren't flying, but you could be. I'm actually not opposed to that. I mean, or he could be like a powerful air caster. Just be like, boom, and all of a sudden he's like air four. Like, that could be cool. This guy's traditionally more, the air earth tarts are typically your kind of super combatant, so. They would like rings of region too. Then you, you can probably teleport with the right gear, so we'll go ahead and load you up. I don't see any crystal coins at the moment. We may need to liberate a crystal coin for this fellow. I'm not really sure what gear I want on him, actually. I'll go ahead and just keep this off for now. You are going to get more traditional gear. You don't have feet, I forgot. I'll give you a hat. A flesh eater. We probably could use some rings of region. We could use some more amulets of anti-magic. See, we've kind of got a lot of bloodstones now. I actually should put... Where's my earth guy? He should probably get a bloodstone. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be strong in Earth now. Earth seven, just shit out weapons of sharpness and stuff. Um, okay, I paused it for a while. Uh, I've kind of been playing, uh, doing a bit of the micro. With trying to move items around, put them on tarts. Uh, the more I think about it, too, the more I think... Um, and by the way, I have no idea where <laughs> what I was saying before I paused it, but this is like an hour and a half ago. Um, I'm, the more I think about it, I don't want him to know. I want to do the reveal of the first couples on the exact turn uh, that I take the throne. Now, you may ask yourself, how are we going to do that? Well... Uh, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky. The way to do it, I think, <coughs> is I need to normal phase move them in and have the glamour 
things with them, and then that way they shouldn't be seen. Um, though, of course, they still could be. Their map moves only 16, which means I can't easily do that. And they don't have a chest slot, which means I can't really... Um, can't do shade mail hallbergs or anything on them. Um, the only other way is I take this province and this province. I stealth move in. Um, I stealth move in a uh, the royal Maliquis, and then I do the golems, and then some other army that looks like it's using the golems as communion slaves. I move them on top of the thrones. Thing is, if I do that, he's going to be patrolling and like shit. I might actually need them. Maybe I have to go all out and just put them on. The other option is only go for one of them, and then I rush this throne right here, which would be pretty nice. Um, I could probably manage that. We're gonna go see what's inside it though, which maybe I should actually do with uh let's put one of these. Do I do I not have the window, stone window or whatever it's called? I don't think I do. Drop these back off. Got so many items, guys. Like what I get, this is my gym income basically at the start of every turn. I've got to spend all this in one turn. It's actually kind of intimidating. Um, but, you know, it's a first world problem. That's why our spell list is so long. Oh, whoops. Making our way through water very slowly. Um, God, it's a good problem to have when you can't get enough manifest vit like green lions. Uh, I have extra earth. I could do more trolls. That may be the answer. I could also wizard, I don't think wizard tower is the answer. Do trolls have good MR? They do have pretty good MR, they're just weak to fire. I think mixing in some trolls to the army is not a bad idea. We might do another troll king score. It's gonna hurt my income a little bit because they have a shit ton of upkeep, but we're going to do that. Uh, here we need to build a lab, but we're a little poor at the moment. By poor, I mean we have 20K income, but we've got 11K upkeep. Uh, I might should try to kill off more of my stuff, but I don't appear to be doing that. Okay, this guy, I need to think about who else I want to have with him. Because in some ways, he is like a oh shit way to deal with uh, the moving some du dudes up here. I might have to like super stack MR, like rainbow armor, lead shield. And then he can go in and just gym bait uh, to help Pythium. So we'll see. Oh, hello. We've got a lot of blood slaves here, as it turns out. Okay, keep on blood hunting. Okay, you can patrol. Uh, we've got the lab. Nice, so I don't have to do this anymore. I'm trying to get rid of my micro with all my money. Um, the blood hunting micro was a little tedious, if 
want us to be completely honest. Okay, Palisade, Temple. Now the green lines aren't great underwater, but what is pretty good are the, uh, the Fiends of Darkness. Not really because it's dark. Actually, Storm Demons are kind of better. Maybe I get a... Maybe I Blood and Power a Fairy Queen or something. He's going to be coming underwater with a lot of Corpse Constructs, so... I'm not sure. I could get another Lich. Thing is, I should probably be... Which of these are cast... Can this be cast underwater? Tartarian Gate? Cannot be cast underwater. Legions of Whites cannot be cast underwater. I know that. Okay, shit. I'm not sure. I kind of want to use the Conjuration bonus I'm about to get up here. Uh, let's take a look real quick. For death... Well, God damn it. I have to actually click on. No. I wonder if I hit water. I don't know if you hit R, it'll do rituals and D. Um. It's hard to know which of these I can... I guess most of the water stuff I can. Like, monster fish have shit MR, and that matters a ton in the late game. An ancient presence. Can only be cast in swamps. Essentially could be cool. Queen of water elemental. Queen of elemental water. I could totally get on board with casting that. Let's see if we get any. They'll make good guardians of these underwater thrones. They're some of the best underwater super combatants. Uh, let's take this off. I'm going to go ahead and crystallize one of these thrones, too. Or whatever it's called. Astral window. Okay, let's see what we've got going on over here. And let's actually have you sneak your way this way, because we might get patrolled off here, but they won't get the eye. Um... Let's have you guys all make your way down here. Um, and then you, we were going to potentially build something here, but I guess we'll just search again. Um, Okay, y'all can wait. You can make... Is there anything I need to forge? We can make... Um, I ha You know what we could get? Spring Hawks could actually be the shit for, for this throne rush. And again, it's not a rush, but having like a hundred spring hawks, if he's going to do this bullshit with teleporting, um, is this the right place? What's well, an okay place? Let's just start doing. That I, they may be able to get the royal Maliquis before they get mastered. Probably not. We'll get them anyway. I think they're good to have mixed into an army, and I have a shit ton of gems, and I need to find sinks for because otherwise I can't keep casting wish. This is like the thing. This is how you run the wish thing is you have to. You have to spend all your gems. Because I'm the primary driver of my arcane nexus income. Um, I 
I probably could do with a few more Mound Kings or something. Uh, to patrol. Okay, we've already dealt with you. Okay, you idiots and you, y'all are going to make your way down here. You guys. Well, we can send one over the top. And then you guys are all going to wait. I wish wait was like more permanent. I don't think they sit there turn to turn, though I may be wrong. Flame Spirit. Wait, where is this? Okay, this is a good spot to have a Flame Spirit because I can call in. I'm going to send a message to Pyth. Well, no, because I'm probably going to attack Pythium. Okay, we've got two Flame Spirits here. That's two Flames from the Sky I can drop in that area. But I need. I think I may want three over here because honestly, being able to nuke from orbit. Pretty important. I've got a shit ton of fire. I think we're actually going to have four. And that way I can drop four flames from the sky. Because I need these guys kind of distributed around the range on flames from the sky isn't terribly awesome. Um, oh, nice. Okay, you're blood hunting. We probably should send one of you over here. Already dealt with you. Oh, hello. Oh my god, so many blood slaves, guys. I'm a blood fucking superpower. Yeah, I've got a lot of boots of the messenger, but I'm not... I need to equip them. Um, who are we going to equip them all on? Well... Everybody here can have boots, because this is definitely going to be a theater of war, so it's unlikely I'm going to have to move them. Everybody almost already has boots? The fuck? This is my life. I'm like a uh, quartermaster general for Atlantis. I'm just stashing away items. But that said, it's really cool having a casual Water 5 <laughs> recruit anywhere. Holy shit, okay. I mean, you just, you can't complain, because you get liquefy and stuff, which... Whoever said water sucks? Water, I dig. Especially high, I mean, low water isn't that awesome, but high water, like, spend me on liquefy... Are you kidding me? Look at this. Just look at this. Three, it's an area of effect three, range 30, but it's more like range, uh, like almost 40 when you have a uh, water lens on them. But you're, you're doing like area of effect three soul slay. Like what if it was just area of effect one soul slay and that way you kill everything in a tile? That would be fucking cool. But it's area of effect three. It's nuts. Plus, if it misses, you still cripple. Um, and you only need one good spell, and they tend to kind of like casting it. That's not completely true, but if they like casting it off script, one good spell goes a long way. Um, what are you doing? How about we do um not really sure you know we could do the iron what is it the lion thing lion sentinels I don't have magic gems. Let's do that instead of Troll King. How about that? Uh, 
this will give us lion guards, which they kind of suck, but they are maybe going to be helpful. Because we're this is one of the thrones we're probably going to have to defend. And then we're just getting assassin chaff. We're pulling it near all the thrones. That's why I'm getting all these shamblers and stuff. If you had not guessed, the water lenses. Okay. Do I not? Okay, I don't have any thralls, but I have thralls up here. Let's let's move both of you guys here. Y'all can go blood hunt. You can blood hunt here. You can go pick up. Okay, how many can we put on these guys? It's actually okay. Okay. So let's get these three idiots. Well, four, because I can put them on this guy too. Okay. Let's have you actually walk over here. I do have too many mages sitting around. Um, but yeah, this is basically, and to think I didn't even show you a lot of the micro. Uh, we got to spend our nature gems. I think we're going to get another fairy queen. Uh, if I have the requisite, which I don't. Damn it. Just trying to keep all this sorted. I, I keep, or I organize it like every two or three turns, but it just, it co goes, when you make so many items and you shuffle them around, it just descends into chaos so goddamn quickly. I really wish there were an auto sort. Um, anyway, I don't have a nature booster that I can see. So what that means to me is I probably need to figure out a way to make one. And the easiest way, see, you're doing fairy court. Can you make a tree lord staff? Maybe you just make a tree lord staff, and that way she can make more fairies. In the meantime, we can make uh, a worm that walks, maybe? That's going to also be nature five. Okay, in the meantime, you can blood hunt. Um. And then you, we're going to need a few more boots. And then here, we're going to make... Wait, is that right? Do I need more amulets of anti-magic? I feel like I'm going to need... Well, I, I think... Okay. We're going to make a few more lenses. Okay, and then... What the hell? Oh, we're doing three red seconds up here. I think we're set on three red seconds now. We can go back to blood hunting. And this is about to be enveloped in my dominion, which would be very nice. More assassin chaff, thank you. Assassin chaff. Uh, assassin chaff. Okay, well, I finally made it through, everybody. And I've done the important stuff. I've gotten the first couples. Uh, I haven't started on the items for them. But basically, there's a few things we have to do. So this guy is going to be Astral traveling his army to 145. Which is going to be on land. Then we're probably going to take that gate stone. And... Well, I don't know. We're actually, I think we're going to keep the lines here. We're going to build up basically two forces, which are going to one turn pop this throne and probably this one, though it may be that throne and this one with 
two first couples each. That's basically the thing. And I might skip recording the next couple episodes or like the next few turns until I get that done. Because anyway, I think you get the idea of what's going on. But uh, anyway, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.